Deanne, David and Louise work at EDF Energy's call centre in Sunderland. The company has tailored their shift patterns so they can share a lift to work. This policy means half of the 1,400 workers are car sharers. It's a lot cheaper because we are like shipping for petrol and things, so it does work out much cheaper and it's a lot more reliable than waiting for public transport. So, yeah, it works out better for all of us, really. It's convenient for, obviously, the hours and stuff that the company have changed for us. Um, Cost-wise, they all contribute towards petrol um, and environment. Um, we're not taking, like, three cars. Well, yeah, I mean, we work for an energy company, so it's up for us now to, for the, the whole climate change to get everything all sorted, so we're just doing our bit to help the company to help the climate. Car sharing helps meet EDF's self-imposed carbon reduction target. And it means that an overcrowded car park can still accommodate a growing workforce. The company's benefit, we have a, a wide range of climate commitments um, which are very ambitious. And in terms of the number of car sharers that we now have, that, that is over 650 on the site, which is a really significant step that we've made. It's a win-win, I mean, in terms of the costs to them, in terms of reduced fuel, um, as well as the impact on the environment, and I think in terms of team building as well. It encourages relationships that you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't normally get within an office environment. And the very first public car sharing website was launched today for commuters in Tyne and Weir. You can search for a car share buddy at www.sharesmarter.co.uk. Adrian Pitches, BBC Look North.